Good afternoon, Keys families. Uh, the staff and I just want to wish you all well and hope that you're all taking care of each other and your children at this difficult time. Um, this resource is basically just so you can have some activities to do with your children and also for the kids to get the chance to see their teachers. So today we're going to read a book and it's called If You Give a Pig a Party by Laura Numeroff. She's the author and the illustrator is Felicia Bond. One recommendation that we would have uh, while you're letting your child watch this is to pause and ask some questions, open-ended questions such as, what do you think will happen next? And get their little critical minds thinking. So let's see what happens if you give a pick a party. If you give a pick a party, She'll ask for some balloons. When you give her the balloons, she'll want to decorate the house. When she's finished, she'll put on her favorite dress. Then she'll call all her friends to invite them to the party. Her friends won't be home, so you'll go with her to look for them. On the way, she'll see a street fair. She'll want you to take her on the bumper cars. All her friends will be there. Then you'll have to take her on all the rides. She'll want to play all the games too. When she's done, she'll ask for some ice cream. When she's finished eating the ice cream, she'll need to change her clothes. You'll have to take her home. She'll ask her friends to come along. On the way, she'll start a game of hide and seek. When you finally get home, you'll have to make dinner. Then she'll want to have a sleepover. You'll have to find pajamas and blankets and pillows for everyone. When she sees the pillows, she'll probably start a pillow fight. Then she'll make a fortress out of the blankets. Of course, when she's finished, she'll want to decorate it. So she'll ask for some balloons. And chances are, if you give her some balloons, she's going to ask you for a party. The end.